now now I want to pay homage to uh Shakur Stevenson uh and he and he's going to represent the US um uh, in the 2016 Olympics well amongst other other USA fighters but I'm just going to talk about Shakur Stevenson um there's a link out there I'll put it in the description box when he fought Ruben Villa uh fighter from California and Shakur is like from uh, like New Jersey maybe New York anyway it was a good fight what thing about interesting about the Olympics I think this year and I may be wrong they took the headgear off now. They're trying to simulate it as close to the professional game. So they don't fight no longer with a headgear. They fight as a real fight. Now, obviously, these guys are technicians and still Olympian fighters looking for gold. So they're going to box and box and box. Well, Steven Sh uh, Shakur did a great job. Beat Ruben Villa 3-0. Both guys, it's looking really good for the U.S. Olympics. Hopefully, these guys are able to win gold. Um, shout out to Shakur. Shout out to Ruben. Both guys did good. Um, the thing is weird. I don't know. It, it, in that fight, Shakur was popping a beautiful jab. Man, that boy's technique is flawless. Ruben was too, but he seemed a little lethargic on his feet. He, if you watch Ruben via in sparring and shit like that, Shakur always fights the way he's very light on his feet. I mean, that boy, he's very light. I mean, if he had a a burning floor, that guy would not like mess up his feet because he's so light. That dude's literally walking on water. Ruben also has that skill, which is very surprising. How he was trying to stalk, stalk, and stalk and I don't know what it is, but I know that they fought like five times or four times beforehand, and they were split the difference 2-2. Shakur edging uh, Ruben in the Olympics twice to go to be an Olympian uh, finalist, and at the same time, um, they had like four fi fights before that. So maybe, you know, Shakur was very uh, in shape, and uh, Ruben was already exhausted. If you look at the fight, he had a little mouse building up on his eye, a, little, uh, a black guy Ruben did. And uh, maybe Ruben was fatigued or something. But anyway, Shakur took that 3-0 and is very young watching these Olympics. That was my first time ever watching really the Olympics and the Olympians and boxing. Uh, because it was actually televised in a channel that I was able to, you know, watch. Um, I may Maybe they've always televised it, but I just never really heard of it. Or maybe I didn't even really pay attention that much to it. But this time I'm paying attention to it. And uh, I'll be cheering for Shakur. And I would like to see if Ruben decides to go pro or decides to keep boxing. It'll be very interesting to see. Shout out to both guys for uh, this is pretty good. You know, first time I've ever seen in the Olympic fight, so it was pretty, pretty interesting, man.